We won! Yeah. Yeah. Not just by a slight margin, no. we won by a large margin. Yeah. Which was and we won because I had Elizabeth by my side every step of the way, helping to make sure that we kept this campaign going. When I was in Washington, when I was everywhere else, Elizabeth. Yeah. I have a congressional staff. That's right. Yay. A congressional staff which has relentlessly served the people of this district, Woo. providing providing help when people need it, providing assistance when people right. might find their backs to the wall. They know they can right. come to us. Let's hear it for the yeah. congressional staff of the yeah. Yeah. And we won because we had a hell of a campaign operation on the ground. Yeah. Uh, Vivian, thank you very yeah. much for everything you've done. Me and John, and, and you did a great job on the Our volunteer of the year, Michael Patterson. Yeah. And, and we had we had we had Lila. And Tony, let's hear it for them. Chad Ely, Chad, thank you for the great. What for show? Uh, Clara and Marsha and Carol are our archivists. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it for Stacy. Stacy. Yeah. Susan Alger. Yeah. Let's hear it for Andy Junowitz. Yeah. I want to. I want to pay special recognition to. The brothers and sisters of organized labor. Yep. Uh, they're uh, having. Uh, they're at uh, events everywhere today. Some of them might be here, but I just want to tell you something. And I, I, I want you to know that this is a community where working men and women put their trust in government, hoping that government is going to be responsive, hoping they can call government their own. All too often they can't, but people know that in this district. They have a representative they can call their own. They know they can count on us. They know that I'm there for them. They know that I'll fight for them. They know I'll stand up and speak out for them. Let's hear it. For men and women, for black labor. What we ran is a campaign that is based on principle, a campaign that's based on service, because that's what our politics represent. We have a politics that uh, that really tries to connect with people's hearts, that tries to relate to people's practical aspirations. So we, we, we never got into uh, the exchanges, which people were trying to bait us into. And, and the reason why we were able to do that is because we had your support. We had you out there. The kind of, can you know, just as my congressional campaign staff makes it possible for me to have the kind of support that I do in this district. The kind of campaign that we had uh, on the ground, this campaign on the ground made it possible for me to not have to engage, to be able to stay above the fray. Those of you who put up the signs, I will tell you, we had the best sign operation we have ever had, ever, over 4,000. Those signs were personal endorsements from people. And so I want you all to know that, you know, that, that's the kind of campaign that we ran. And, and people were out there putting up the signs. Let's hear it for the Dean of Cleveland Labor, Jimmy Goggins. Yeah. 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 
I know he's bashful and he's shy, but let me tell you something. He's the person who's helped us put out dozens and dozens of workers on weekends with the help of laborers 310. Let's hear it once again. Yeah. 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 Goggins and, and, and John Kilbane and Harriet Applegate during, you know, during the primary, before the primary, we got together in the AFL CIO and they saw that we really needed to protect this seat. And so we made a decision. Just that was a decision where I where I decided get out of the presidential race, focus on this district. And because of that decision, you know, we're here to celebrate a victory tonight. Two years ago, our Democratic Party failed to keep its promise to take America in a new direction with respect to the war. And you know that I put everything on the line. I put my career on the line to challenge that war. But when I saw my own party refusing to keep its promise to end the war, I stepped forward to challenge it in the only way that I could, and that is to be a candidate for president. Now, I knew the difficulties that I was facing. I had run once before. I knew how difficult it was going to be, but I felt a duty to my country and to those men and women who serve and to people all over the world to take a stand on behalf of peace and to take a stand to get out of Iraq. And that's something we have to continue to insist upon. Right. We have to end a Woo. nation yeah. questing for empire. We have to start taking care of things back here in the United States of America. We have to save people's homes. We have to create jobs for all. We have to create health care for all. We have to give money for education and get our kids back to decent schools. We have to make sure that people have a chance to have better energy options. We have to make sure that we protect our environment. We have to stop these arms buildups. We have to start regulating Wall Street. We have to stop the bailouts to Wall Street. We have to start taking care of the American worker and the American middle class. We have to stop the transfer of wealth that goes to the top. We have to make sure that we restore the American dream. That's the kind of work that we have to do in the next two years. Are you with me? This is going to be a period of great opportunities because it appears that the party is going to be increasing its margin in the House of Representatives. But to me, the question isn't whether we increase our political margin. The question is whether or not we are going to help to remove the American people from the margins of economic disaster. The question is whether or not we are going to widen the possibilities for creating wealth in our society. The question is whether or not we're going to ask some fundamental questions about the way our monetary system operates. We're seeing we have a debt-based monetary system, and what that has meant is that all we're doing is creating more debt. The banks are spending money in the th out of thin air. They're creating money out of thin air. We have to look at the way our money is created. We have to look at the role of the Federal Reserve. That isn't a Democrat or Republican issue. It's an issue that relates to whether we're going to control our own government. The banks took over the government with the bailout. We borrowed money from the banks to give to the banks so they could offload their toxic debts or hoard the money or use the money to buy other banks. Our country's in jeopardy because of this. And the only way out is to take a new look at the way we create money in our society and the way that we try to get money into the hands of all the people. That we have to not just prime the pump of the economy in the, other, in the way that Roosevelt did, but we also have to look at the structures in our society that are causing this acceleration of wealth upwards. We have to get ready to help create a new nation here. The last time that the United States had this potential for dramatic change was 1932. And so we have to, re we have to be ready. We have to be ready to catch this wave and to make it possible for the Democrats to fashion a whole new economic agenda. And that's what I intend to be part of. I was on the phone yesterday with Nancy Pelosi, and I told her how important it was for us to have not just a stimulus package, but a plan to rebuild America's industrial base, mm -hmm. to rebuild our steel mills, our, our, 
our auto plants, our aerospace industry, how we have to change the trade laws. And we certainly have to use this opportunity to strengthen the protections that workers have. And we have to use this opportunity to create a health care system that truly serves all the people of America. So to all of you, to each and every one of you, thank you. Young and old, all of you, my family, my friends, I am so fortunate to have your support. And one final note, let's hear it for the people of the 10th Congressional District who gave us the